Hi all, in this session, I will be explaining the use of value operator. What is value operator? Value operator is a constructor that creates a value for the type you specify. I will be creating an internal table and will fill it with initial values using value operator. You can see I created one table type and now I am assigning few values while creating the internal table. This is an inline declaration where I am creating this internal table and using the value operator and the type specified is nothing but the table types I declared above. So what happens? This statement will create an internal table of type declared already and while creating the internal table of this type it will assign our initial values will populate these three values let me show the output how does the values gets populated save it activate run now you can see this internal table having these three values that got initialized using this value operator. The point to remember here is the value operator will assign the values based on the type. So you should have a type declared for the value operator. So this type declaration gives enough information to system while creating the internal table what will be its type. If we do not want to give the type in the value type after the value operator, you can also give an hash symbol. But when you give the hash symbol, the system will not able to identify what will be the type of internal table. So in that case, you need to declare this internal table beforehand, not with inline declaration. Let me show you. Let me comment out these two lines. Instead of that, I will be writing the code this way. So here I am declaring an internal table beforehand and I am using that internal table to assign those values. So with this value has symbol, what happens? When system is trying to create internal table, initialize these values, system able to understand what will be the type of that internal table because the type has been declared before. Let me activate it and execute. You can see the output is same. So these initial values are got assigned to this internal table. So you have two options. Either you declare the type and use after the value operator or if you are going to use the value operator with hash symbol, you ensure the internal table is already declared. Thank you. Let me create another example to show one range, range table. I will be taking the example of creating a range table for company codes. First of all, I will be declaring the range table and I will be using the value operator to populate initial values to it. Remember, as I have already declared the data type, so I no need to use the type type after the value operator. I can use hash symbol. Same like above example. If we have already declared the internal table, so no need to use the type after value. If we have not declared the internal table, we need to specify what type the internal table will be created. And let me assign values to the range table. I am going to assign values. In the range table, we already know that there are four fields, sign, option, low and high. I created this range table and I have given these values of the company codes. Let me see what will be the output, how the data is getting 
populated in this range. I can use the standard method to show the data. You can see the values that is being populated is what I have specified. So this is how we can create a range table and initialize at one go using the value operator. 1.2 noted that like any of the method call, so we need to have space after these brackets while, while using value operator. Thank you.